Okay, we're going to start talking about how we're going to label this first fraction flip book. And I've got my scissors, my index card, my ruler, and my pencil. Now, I'm going to use a pen and a marker so you can see a little bit better. But you use a pencil. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is this very top flap. The distance from here to here is one hole. So with your pencil, let's mark this as one hole. Now, this second flap here, the second flap, we're going to divide it into two parts. And we're going to use a ruler to help us. Now, if we measure the distance, make sure you're using the inches side, not the centimeter side. The inches are further apart. So if we measure it, we put it right here on zero, it ends right at 12. So if we want to divide this into two parts, each part will have to be how many inches? Six inches. So what I'm gonna do is right here where the six inch mark is, I'm gonna make a little mark like that to tell me where the six inches are. And I'm gonna use this index card. If you can see what I'm doing is I want this edge to be straight so that I can draw a straight line going up. So I'm gonna use this to help me make a straight line going up. So because each of these little parts, it's one, this is one out of the two parts that make a hole. It takes two to make a hole. So this is one out of the two parts or one half, and this is one out of the two parts. So that's one half. So now this next little flap, instead of dividing it into two equal parts, we are gonna divide it into four equal parts, and we're gonna use our ruler to help us. So we know our ruler is 12 inches long. If I were gonna to divide 12 inches into four equal parts, how big will each part be? If you said three inches, you are correct. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my ruler, make sure it stays right there on the zero, not moving the ruler, I'm gonna mark three, and three inches more is six, and three inches more is nine, three inches more is 12. I don't need to mark that. So now I'm gonna use my index card again. This was three, six, nine. You do not have to write those, but I want you to think about that. This one here in the middle we said was six. So these should line up. If this was six inches and this was six inches, that should line up. So we're gonna use that index card. We're gonna line it up right here on the bottom so it's nice and straight. And this is six inches. Now three inches, okay, and we can use our index card. We're only gonna make the line up to this flap here. So I'm gonna make my straight line <clears throat> here for three inches, and I'm gonna make my straight line here, three inches. All right, so now how many parts did we divide this flap into? One, two, three, four. So this is one out of four. So we are gonna label it one fourth. This is also one out of four. So every single one of these is one fourth. So here we had two parts and they were six inches each. Here is four parts. They were three inches each. So now the bottom part, we are going to divide into eight parts. Now we gotta think of dividing 12 into eight parts. This was two parts. This was four parts. So did you notice that this half had to be cut into half in order to get four parts? So to get eight parts, what am I gonna do with this fourth? I'm gonna cut it into half of where this mark was because if I have four parts, if I keep cut each of those in half, I'll have twice as many parts. I'll have eight parts. So we said each of those fours were three inches. So if I wanna cut that in half, what is half of three? So let's see where the midpoint is. If we start here and go toward the midpoint, it's at one and a half. 
So my first mark is going to be at one and a half. The next mark is going to be at three. You have to be real careful not to move your ruler. And then we have to go another one and a half. So three and one and a half more is going to be four and a half. So we've got it. Let me write this down. One, one and a half, and then three. You do, you do not need to write these numbers down. Don't write them down because it might make it compu confusing. Four and a half. There's six again. This is seven and a half. The next one will be at nine. Nine and one and a half more is ten and a half. And the next one is at 12. So now we're going to use our index card again. And what do we notice? Oh, look, three and three. So let's let's go ahead and let's draw that line. Make sure it's straight with the other three. Six and six should be straight. Nine and nine, there's a straight line there. And then we need to do the one and a half. So I'm gonna line up my index card on the bottom and connect it to the one and a half. Line it up, connect it to the four and a half. Line it up, connect it to the seven and a half. Line it up, connect it to the eight and a half. So how many parts do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is one of the eight pieces. So we can label all of these as one eighth. So I call this our one half flip book. So now what we are going to do is we're going to get our scissors and we're going to cut each of these little flaps, each of the lines that we drew, but just cut up to the next flap. So got to make sure this is tucked in all the way and I'm going to cut the six but just to the green flap and then I'm going to cut this three inch mark just up to the next flap so now we got four flaps here and then the eights I'm just going to cut it up the next flap don't cut into the next flap so now we've got eight little flaps here you got your fourths and you got your halves right there so this fraction book is complete next video we'll talk about the next fraction book